Let's do it, man. Right. Let, me get, let me get right. <laughs> there we go. I think I'm right. I don't know. <laughs> Hello, Virgo. Rambling Mike here. Going to play a little bit of tarot with you today. Thanks for tuning in one more time, Virgo. Appreciate your views that I do. Thanks for hitting the like while you're thinking about it. Very kind of you. Always want to take a minute and say thank you. Because you guys keep blessing me. Many of you do. My Virgos, appreciate you very much. If you ever bless me in any way, shape, or form, Virgo, thank you so very, very much, my friend. Appreciate it. Gonna play a little tarot with ya. It's uh, it's the middle of September as I do these reads right here, right uh, where I live. We're heading into the fall, so so we got a you know an opportunity right here, a window to play with some of my more gothic tarot right here for a little season. Anyway, this is a dark fairy tale. We're going playing with the dark fairy tale. I'm also going to play with my jesters over here. Uh, I got, I got, I got some major arcanas right here. Uh, the tarot of the dead. Yeah, we're going to throw those on there and some love cards. <laughs> and some love cards. All that being said, Virgo, let's do it. Let's play some tarot. We're looking for a love story. We're looking for a love story for Virgo love team. Virgo babies. Virgo babies. Let's go. Let's go. I'm looking for a jumper. I'm looking for a jumper. If we don't get a jumper, I'm going to cut it. I'm going to cut it. I'm going to try one more right here. So we get a jump. Well, we, may, we may be digging in. Let's do it. Let's dig in. Overall, love story. Virgo. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Let's go. Virgo delicious. Eight swords. Eight swords. This is that's time for a jailbreak. I don't know. You may have air in your chart. You know, eight swords, man. And Virgo, this this has vampire written on on the chest right there. Damn. This is a jailbreak. I need another card on this. This is about being all up in the head. I don't know. Maybe you're maybe you're escaping from some vampires. I can only hope. Man, that's my jailbreak card. Eight swords. What's going on, Virgo? Virgo. Virgo. <laughs> Virgo. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Give me something on this. What's the story about with Virgo? Oh. Knight of Swords. Hmm. Interesting cards coming out. So this is, you know, the fastest moving night. I wonder if you got somebody coming in really fast or maybe returning really fast. This is like the Dragon Slayer. No, no, no. They coming, they coming, man. No, I need more on this. I don't like a lot of air here. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. These could be a forewarned, forearmed. You know, somebody wants to keep you locked down. Mikey's rooting for a jailbreak with these cards. Who's that? Who's that Knight of Swords right there? They got something to say. They got something to say, Virgo. A lot of air right there. Give me something on this. Virgo, please. Virgo. Mikey's rooting for a jailbreak around here. I don't like that Knight of Swords. Charging into eight swords right there. Oh, two of swords. Okay, there's a decision. There's a decision. We got more of that air energy right there. Um, This is like a Libra card, I do believe. Two of swords. Um. It's like a decision. Oh, look, man. It's about ending a cycle, possibly with an air sign right here. Some of my Virgos may be having a little bit of a hard time letting it go. But Ten Swords ends a cycle. Oh, Lord, I must say. Ten Swords ends a cycle. Not sure if you want to end the cycle. 
with this uh, this lightning pony. Lightning pony comes in and leaves. They they many times they come in fast and leave fast. They come in fast, they leave fast. What the hell? A lot of air here. A lot of air here, Virgo. Two swords says I don't know if I want to really end this once and for all because that's a pretty final card, right? All in the head. Do I want to end this cycle with this lightning pony? The one that comes and goes and comes and goes and comes and goes. All right, let's play some tarot. Oh, why? Wow. Wow. Uh, two wands just showed up. So this is a crossroads card for some of my Virgos out there, right? There may be a new friend that may have just showed up in your world. So you got one wand over here, saying two swords and two wands. So there's a choice right here. Are you looking at a new world over here, but having a hard time releasing yourself from an old energy? Is that what I'm looking at? Let's play some tarot around here, Virgo. Virgo, a couple of love cards. We've got a choice to be made right here. Got a choice to be made. I always like the new world myself, but what you do is best for you. Give me a love card. A little more on this Virgo story right here. What we got, love team? Oh, you, it says you deserve love. Now, I don't know if the lightning pony can deliver up what we would call love. Maybe able to. Normally, they come and go real fast. You know what I'm talking about. It says you deserve love. It says you are lovable. Let's go. Give me some Virgo. Virgo babies. Virgo babies. Virgo. Very soon, clearly decide what you want. There it. <laughs> So it comes to you now. Yep, choices right here. And one thing's for sure, source says you deserve love. You deserve love. Let's go, man. Give me some for Virgo. Virgo babies. Virgo babies. This old lover right here has got 10 swords in it, man. You know, you know what I'm talking about, Virgo. All right. Very soon. Clearly decide what you want. Oh, and romantic feelings. I hope there is a new friend in your world right here. Because this card says these feelings are real and worth exploring. All right, all right, all right. I love it when a tarot spread's coming together. I've got some passion here. Ooh, damn. That's what I'm talking about. So I'm going to look at this up here. These romantic feelings are real and worth exploring. I don't even want to explore with ten swords, the the lightning pony, your eight swords, your two swords, Lord. I want to look at this new energy, but we'll see what the tarot says, huh? Let's do it. Give me some. Give me some. Virgo babies. Virgo babies. A love story for Virgo. Show it to me. Here we go. First card out. Virgo. The devil. Damn it. <laughs> The devil. <laughs> hey, you know, the devil can be a little hard to let go. That's why our Sunday school teacher always told us, you know, stay away from the devil. Because you may like the devil so much that you never let it go. And then it does what the devil does. It destroys you. Anyway, a devil card showing up here, Virgo. Damn it. They are addictive. Look at, look, at, look at my little earth angel right there. There's a damn devil over there, man. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Is it that lightning pony? I bet it is. I bet it is. Give me a card right here. Virgo babies. Virgo babies. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Oh, the high priestess. Oh, 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 look at these damn cards, man. Come on, Virgo. Is, is this my high priestess right here? No, I can heal the devil. I can heal the devil, Mike. 
I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. He's a high priestess. Man. Look at her. Look at her right there. She's been in Hades for a while. She's been down in the bowels. <laughs> it's time for her to come out to the sun. Anyway, no, no, we can fix them, Mike. We can fix them. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Let's go, man. Virgo. Virgo. Give me a card right here. Virgo babies, man. <laughs> here we go. Here we go, man. Here we go. Oh, yeah, the devil. That's why the teachers, they told us, don't. Don't play with the devil. You may like it. <laughs> Don't. There we go. Here we go, man. Here we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, the sun came out. A major arcana. It can be about an epiphany. It can be about enlightenment. Can be about an awakening. I'm hoping with the devil, the high priestess that was crying. <laughs> Damn it. Boom, the sun showed up. I'm, I'm kind of rooting for a new friend myself. I see him right there. Shining armor. Damn it, they look amazing. All right, the sun. I told you it's time for it's time for the high priest. I love it, you know, because source knows how I read cards and all that. So cool, man. See the high priestess, the dark pillar, the light pillar. You know, here's the dark pillar. And here's Persephone when she gets out of Hades. She gets to go in and play in the sun. And the sun over here on one side. And you got the devil on the other side. Virgo, man. Virgo. All right, all right. What's this? You know, oh, here comes the sun. Do 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 do. Let me put it on this side. That's better. Here comes the sun, and I said, "It's all right." <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Give me some cards on this. Virgo, Virgalicious, Virgalicious. Let's go play in the sun. Oh, we got, oh, damn. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> boom, daddy, boom, boom, just showed up. Damn, that's an ace of ones. <laughs> damn. That's about a passion, a new beginning. And behind the sun right there. Ooh, la, la. Ooh, la, la. Boom, daddy, boom, boom. Uh, Virgo got boom, daddy, boom, boom coming in. <laughs> Could be this new ace of wands over here. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Oh, look at this right here, man. Oh. <laughs> hey. Okay, okay. My high priestess. Let's go. Let's have some fun. Let's go. <laughs> Virgo. Virgo. Looks like you may run off into the sunset right here. Yeah. Yeah. Leave those old days of the swords behind. Oh. Oh, who's that knight in shining armor right there? Yeah, man. Look at it. It's a page. It's a page of cups. This is like a new love offer that I'm reading right here. It's a page. It's a new beginning. It's crushy crush feelings right here. It's crushy crush. <laughs> the devil's reform. Maybe. Maybe it could be the devil reforming. You know what's going on in your life because that can be an apology card. <laughs> can be. I, 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 but see, I got two wands here. This is who I'm reading for. The Virgo that had a choice right here, the crossroads. That's why I'm, that's why I'm indicating that this could be a new energy for some of you. But if the devil has changed their wily ways, perfect. Let's go. Virgo. Virgo. What is this right here? This is um, Seven of Wands. And Seven of Wands is an energy for me 
about standing up and doing what's best for you. It is my hero's card, Virgo. If somebody decided to stand up and do what's best for them. There's a choice that needs to be made here. So this is Virgo standing up and doing what's best for them. Blocking out an old energy possibly and moving in a new direction. All right. I want to play with... so. Who are you thinking about right here, right? I mean, some of these cards can indicate a reconciliation, but for the most part, the Virgo I'm reading for, I see a new opportunity in love has arisen here. And uh, releasing yourself from a toxic energy. But. So I want to know who you're thinking and feeling about right here. Huh? What are they thinking and feeling about you? This dashing night... In shining armor that's on the sun right there. It's coming in here for my high priestess. You know, I've been dealing with the devil. I want to know, what's this knight in shining armor? What do they think and feel about Virgo? It's new energy. What do they think and feel about Virgo? Give me a card, please. Give me a card. What do they think and feel about Virgo? Virgo. What is this right here? This page of swords. This has been coming out all night in this spot for everybody. When I ask what your friends think and feeling about you, Virgo, it says that they feel that you keep your eye on them. <laughs> they feel that you watch them. Uh, they feel that maybe you watch tarot. This is how we spy these days around here. Anyway. <laughs> Says that they feel that you keep an eye on them. This new friend right here. Maybe a limited communication. Virgo, this uh, character that's represented by the sun right here. What are they thinking and feeling about Virgo? What are they thinking and feeling about Virgo? Is that right there? Five Pentacles. Um, you know, that's an energy of missing somebody. So they could feel they've been, they could feel that you miss somebody here. Right? There's no communication with your devil. <laughs> Damn it, man. Damn it, man. Give me a card right here. Virgo, your new friend right here. What are you thinking and feeling about Virgo? may feel that you missed that old devil right there. Huh? What we got, Virgo? They be feeling about you, Ten Cups. Oh, man. <laughs> Who's this new friend right here, Virgo? Ooh, they got some Virgalicious that's running through their veins anymore. Ten Cups. They feel that you're their happy ever after. <laughs> Lord, it. But they feel that, you know, you're wooing or dealing with letting an energy go. Okay, I am too. It's in the cards, right? <laughs> here, here we go, man. Here we go, Virgo. What's Virgo thinking and feeling about their friend right here? The one that's represented by the sun card and that night, night and shine and armor. What's Virgo thinking and feeling about them? McCard. Uh, eight cups. That's interesting, huh? Um, uh, it could say that uh, Virgo thinking about them. Uh, that you're trying to uh, release an energy right here. It's very well what it could say. That you're trying to release an old energy right here. You're trying your best to let go of things that walk away. that are no longer emotionally fulfilling. Uh, that you're trying to head out to go find your ninth and tenth cup. Virgo. I feel you right here. Do what's best for you. Love yourself. Sometimes it takes a minute to get over a devil. What's Virgo thinking and feeling about their new friend right here? Oh, that's nice. The Empress. Taurus Libra. 
Uh, the Empress, you know, is, is an energy of birthing something new. Birthing something new. It's, it's Venus. It's love. It's abundance. They're already rocking you with 10, 10 cups, but they could probably feel this lingering energy. As Virgo, you pulled eight cups, so that says you're going to let this go right here. You're going to let go of things that are no longer emotionally fulfilling. It says you think pretty highly of your new friend with the Empress. What's Virgo think and feel about them? Their new friend. Death. Scorpio came out. Death and rebirth for you. That's a powerful energy. That's a powerful energy your friend has uh, invoked in you, man. The death cycle. Is that what you're going through? The death cycle? I feel you right here. We always come out on the other side. That's a very transformational energy. It's the story of the butterfly. Very nice. I, I see change here for you. It's very positive. Yeah. Love and light. The gods are with you. Get your eight cups so you can go on over here and get ten cups. This person's got ten cups and they're spread for you, man. Oh, Virgo. <laughs> I love you. I love you. I love you. All that being said, oh, uh, I picked that deck up, didn't I? And I shook it around. And let me show you this right here, Virgo. This is four wands in this deck. And this, this looks like, you know, that princess right there is walking down, right, to, to a new city. See, it's the new city over there, and there's butterflies. Oh, after I talked about the transformation after the death right here. Wow. It looks like there's a new journey over there. Looks like a nice place to go take a look anyway, huh, Virgo? Yeah, it's four wands showed up right there. Wondered why I picked that up. Let's do it. Give me a couple of major arcana on here for my Virgo. My Virgo, babies. The Tarot of the Dead. Major. Virgo. Got four wands on this thing, man. Judgment. So... See, judgment can be about a judgment call that needs to be made. The judgment can be that I've decided not to not to return, not to go back. But your call, right? Judgment right here for Virgo. That's a big Scorpio energy. It is an energy about Phoenix from its ashes. We got a bunch of butterflies showing up around here. We have the death card showing up. A lot of Scorpio energy on this. Some kind of princess wandering down. Huh? The boardwalk, man, with four wands on it. World card showed up. About an old cycle ending. And a new cycle beginning. For my Virgos. Big world card right there. Give me one more. Judgment. Again, judgment about ending a cycle, judgment about going into a new cycle is right here with somebody new. It's all over my cards right here. And the fool. There we go, baby. That's about a fresh start. A new beginning. I love your doggy right there, Virgo. There he is right there. <laughs> hey, got you. The bags are packed. I'm ready to go. There it is right there. Full card. About a fresh start. A new beginning. Leap of faith. Strength from the gods for you if this is resonating. Love and light, Virgo. Love and light. Hey, if you stuck around this far in the reading, Virgo, thank you for your view. Appreciate you so very much. Uh, Hopefully, I've earned your subscription by this point. If I have, smash that subscription button right there, Virgo. Ring my bell. Hit that like mic button for me if you would. Appreciate it so very much. I, I invite you to stick around if you're in a mood to play a little bit more tarot. I got all signs up here. Maybe you haven't seen them all. Got some Virgo vids over here. I got Earth Babies as well and all that kind of fun stuff. Teachings and all kinds of stuff. Anyway, Virgo, I'm going to pull a couple cards here for you in the next couple days. Do what's best for you. I see a fresh new start. I see a fresh new world. I see a, a judgment call that's made on your part. 
to do what's best for you. Love you, Virgo.